So hey everyone, welcome to Spend on Learning platform. And today we are going to discuss the difference between VLSI and IT industry, as well as which one you should have to choose, and how is the career in VLSI, right? So we'll be talking everything about the VLSI sector and the difference of like whether to choose the VLSI or IT industry if you are from a core branch, right? So let's start. So basically before moving ahead we have to know that what is VLSI. So VLSI as the name itself says it is the very large scale integration. That means we will be having the different kind of uh, components on a single chip. Right. This is why we used to call it as IC as well. That is integrated circuit. Right. And it is used for different kind of applications. We know if we are having our uh, automatic fan if we are having our televisions if we are using any laptop and you are watching this video on your mobile or any desktop definitely these all components consist of any IC or the VLSI in the next video you will be getting to know that what is VLSI actually in the deep and how it works and what is SOC that is system on a chip now I have write down here that uh, everything is VLSI why because whatever you are using right now, the world is uh, getting digital nowadays and whatever we are using nowadays is definitely going to have the VLSI. Because everything is getting complex in the circuit and we cannot use it by our hands. It requires a lot of efforts from the engineers, right, from the experts to make a SOC or system on a chip. So this is how we require the VLSI technology. Earlier we were having SSI, then we moved to the LSI and further so on we are now on the VLSI and right now working on the ULSI as well. But VLSI is on the boom right now. Okay, this, this kind of circuit you are uh, looking right now, it is having different kind of components on it, right? We'll be discussing it in the next video. You have to definitely go and watch the video which is having that what is SOC and how the VLSI industry works right now we will be comparing the VLSI versus IT definitely if you are on this video you are maybe from electronics branch or maybe from double E branch that is electrical engineering so you are watching this video definitely okay so I assume that Definitely you will be having a campus placement in the IT industry, right? And if not, you should try for it because it will give you confidence. So now we will be comparing VLSI versus IT. You know, most of the third tier colleges or the private private colleges generally have the IT kind of companies which comes to hire the student. Okay. And there is a lot of like uh, students who got placed in the IT industry, right? And the students from core branches have to choose whether to go for the IT sector or for the non-tech sector. These are the two options available for a, a third tier college student, right? Now, if we see, there is a big difference between VLSI and IT. What is it? So we'll see it here. First one is that VLSI is done only by the ECE or double E candidates because you have already studied what is electronics in the deep, what is digital electronics, and maybe if you are having your VLSI design in your last semester, definitely you have gone through to the very low. And apart from how we can just design different kind of chips, uh, but in IT, anyone graduate can enter in this field. Because suppose someone is doing BCA, someone is doing VBA, and someone is doing BA, someone is doing BTEC, someone is doing MBA, Masters. If they are having the knowledge of coding, definitely they can enter into the IT industry. So it is very much easy for them. But for the VLSI industry, it is very much difficult for them to enter in this industry or maybe they cannot enter. Right? Only the ECE or EE candidates can enter in this field. Apart from that, VLSI is having the exponential growth. Initially, in the starting year of your uh, journey, 
you can have the very less package maybe three to four lpa but you will see the difference after two to two to three years suppose a friend of yours got placed in int industry and you will get placed in a vlsi industry you will see the difference within two to three years definitely it is for sure because i am not saying that the record says that the it industry is having the steady growth then vlsi is like if you are from a vlsi kind of background and you want to enter into a product based company like intel qualcomm i will let you know there are different kind of companies right which are very good for fresher as well as experienced candidates so here it is very very easy to enter into the product based companies but into the uh, it if we compare in it you have google you have microsoft you have facebook it requires a lot of skills and efforts to enter into the it industry because there you have to learn different kind of coding stuff which is like uh, you should be a full stack developer here you should have to learn react nowadays mongodb you should know everything like mon stack you should know not only that dsa will also be required there but in case of vlsi only your experience will count your digital electronics modules will count your very low knowledge will count and there is very high chance to get into the product based company then rise in demand if you are from india you know how the semiconductor industry is growing in india right and talking about it industry you know what is the condition of it industry nowadays the recession is going on the the layoffs are going on someone is talking about chat gpt that they are replacing the candidates right so this is the condition of it nowadays but vlsi requires a lot of experience and efforts from engineers from the staff and your experience matters a lot in the vlsi if we talk about it industry there are a lot of freshers which come day, day to day and they are ha- they are acquiring the latest technology knowledge but in vlsi if you are an old engineer having the knowledge of present technology as well which is uh, which modifications is going on in the vlsi then definitely it's a piece you would be a masterpiece in the, in the industry then it is a core industry you know what is the uh, importance of core if you are from a ec or double e graduate because many number of candidates passed out from iits and nits they got placed in the it sector and if we compare the it candidates of the service based companies to product based companies in the it field there is a huge difference between them but in vlsi it is nothing like that if you are from the vlsi whether it is service based whether it is product based the margin is very less your uh, qualification doesn't matter a lot but your experience in the vlsi sector will matter a lot right now limited competition why limited competition because here we are only ec graduate or double e graduate not only that but you should have the skill of vlsi then only you can enter because not any vlsi company you used to hire the candidates directly they used to hire whether a trained trained candidate or whether a like experienced professional but in it fresh has got somehow more kind of preference than the uh, professionals right this is the scenario for now moving ahead we have these top product based companies i hope you got the difference between uh, whether to choose for the it whether to go for the ec if you are having the potential definitely you must go for the vlsi sector now talking about top product based companies in the vlsi sector you know in the it sector we have fang facebook apple right but here also we have intel cadence qualcomm nvidia synopsys texas instruments amd right and a lot more companies are there mediatek right if you search on google you will find out that there are various companies in the world so moving ahead we have courses that 
need to do before entering into the VLSI industry because I have earlier told you that to get into the VLSI industry it requires a lot of efforts in the starting because they generally do not have the fresher candidates right so there are two courses basically first one is front end and second one is back end front end is basically for those who want to work on the verification and design and they do not want to go on the physical part so the front end is for those who is having some kind of experience in the coding almost 90 percent of the people who are from the engineering background have done c programming in their first year so it becomes very easy for them to go into the front end part but if you got uh, in love with the uh, dsd with analog circuits with different kind of electronic components then definitely you should go for the back end where you will have a hands on experience on the back end kind of components like different kind of ics you will be get to working on right different kind of eda tools there that you will be working on now if we talk about the courses pricing the VLSI courses uh, cost around 1 lakh to 2 lakh and it is for the online kind of course if we talk about offline kind of courses then there would be a huge increase in the price range generally it varies from institute to institute but uh, it is an average that when you are going for a VLSI course whether it is front end or back end it costs around uh, 1 lakh so it becomes very very hard for the students who are from the middle class family and who have recently got graduated right so for them what is Pentan is going to do what i am going to do is that we are going to launch a career in vlsi full front-end course and it would be free on youtube this would be a first and maybe the last course on the youtube for free to learn the VLSI technology, to learn the latest technology, to learn the technology which is on the boom for free. And definitely we will be going to have the interview preparation as well. That how we can enter the product based company directly. Because here it is very very much easy. If you know some digital electronics, if you know some very log, if you know some basic concept of uh, analog electronics, then definitely you will get into the product based company in the VLSI. Apart from that, moving ahead, the important thing is that what we will cover in future in this course. The first one is we will be going to cover the introduction to SOC system on chip and what is VLSI in deep. Then second one is digital electronics we will be going to discuss in advance. There we will discuss different kind of combinational circuits, sequential circuits, FSM, delays, propagation delays or contamination delays, different kind of things we will be going to discuss then static timing analysis. It is a part of timing analysis where we will be discussing time and dynamic and static timing analysis as well. For the front end people, it is not that much important, but a basic idea should be there because generally the interviewer will ask you that what is STA? So you must have the knowledge of it. Then we will be doing Linux lab and scripting because nowadays you can see there are a lot of automation in every industry. So we need to do the automation in VLSI as well. So it, it would become too easy for you to enter into the field. Then we will be doing very log and system very log. And then we will be doing UVM. And after that, we will be doing interview preparation. We'll be looking forward to have some projects as well. We will be doing that after the completion of very log and system very log. So this is all about this video. I do not want this video to be very long. So Thank you so much and please go through to the playlist of this course and uh, definitely if you have any kind of doubt you can comment out in the comment section and please share to your friends who are just having the uh, will to pursue their career in VLSI. It will help them a lot and also us. Subscribe us and uh, follow us on uh, Instagram. So thank you so much.